Hello, welcome to Vedial Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to see ozonolysis of alkenes. This video is based on a neat question. So the question goes like this. An alkene A on reaction with ozone and zinc H2O gives propanone and ethanol in equimolar ratio. Addition of HCl to alkene A gives B as the major product. The structure of the product B is. So in this particular question, the structure of A is not given and they are asking the structure of B and they are also giving a statement that A is converted to two products and the names of the products are given here. So let us first see what is ozonolysis and then how these products are formed or when these products are formed. So in ozonolysis, uh, we see ozone is a very strong oxidizing agent and this oxidizing agent can react with the alkenes to form an unstable mol ozonide and this mol ozonide rearranges to form a stabler ozonoid. This ozonoid is the, re is the compound which undergoes further reaction. So when we see in this particular case, the uh, ozonoid that is formed is an intermediate in this reaction and according to the reagent that is used after this, there are two types of uh, workups that are possible. Here what we see here is a reductive workup. In case of a reductive workup, the alkene is converted into a ketone and an aldehyde. And in case of the oxidative workup, where we will see in the, in the next few slides, what is the reagent that could be used, we see the alkene is converted into a ketone and a carboxylic acid. So the first case, the ketone remains the same, whereas when we compare with the aldehyde, the aldehyde is converted to carboxylic acid. So what is the reagent that is used in both these workups? In case of a reductive workup, dimethyl sulfide and zinc metal are the reagents that are popularly used. So here in this particular reagent, we see this reagent, dimethyl sulfide, um, is acting as a mild reducing agent and is cleaving the carbon oxygen double bond and two carbon oxygen uh, bonds are formed in the products. So we see here there is a ketone that is formed and an aldehyde that is formed here. So similarly, uh, if we are using even stronger reducing agent like sodium borohydride, uh, the ketone or an aldehyde, both of them get converted to the alcohol. So this is what happens in case of a reductive workup. When we see the oxidative workup, as we all know, our oxidants such as hydrogen peroxide or potassium permanganate can be used. So these oxidants again cleave the double bond, okay, and uh, oxygen is substituted. But what happens in this case is we know aldehydes that are formed in reactions in the presence of strong oxidizing agents will convert to carboxylic acid. The same thing happens here too. So when we compare the reductive workup and an oxidative workup, the reductive workup of an alkene results in a ketone and an aldehyde, whereas an oxidative workup results in a ketone and a carboxylic acid, provided the other group is an aldehyde. If it is a car ketone, then the carboxylic acid may not be formed. Both could be a ketone. So now let us go back to the question. So in this question, uh, an alkene is given and then the two products are given. One is propanone, the other is ethanol. So propanone is nothing but acetone. And ethanol is nothing but acetaldehyde. And since it is said they are in equimolar quantities, uh, definitely one acetaldehyde is going to interact with one propan uh, propanone or acetone. So this is uh, how the alkene must have been. So you see here how I have shown we can look at arriving at the structure. So you put the ketone and the aldehyde side by side 
and then you block out the oxygens so the oxygens are removed and then patch up the two carbon atoms and then you get the alkene so the alkene uh, we are not particular about whether it is um, what kind it is you cannot call it as cis trans because there are two similar groups on this side so the alkene is actually um, you can number it from this side or this side so if you see the numbering from the the way i have put it shows as 3 which is wrong so you will have to number it from the other side so the name of the compound is 2 methyl 2 butene so this compound now will undergo addition reaction with hcl which is the second stage so we know as per morconic of addition negative part of the addendum will add to the carbon atom having the least number of hydrogen atom and in this case the negative part is the carbon having the two methyl groups on it so the negative part is cl so the cl will add to the carbon that is having the least number of hydrogen atom so this is how the product will be so this product looks or is similar to this structure so the answer for this particular question is this another way of looking at this question is looking at the starting materials or looking at the options that are given here so we know that going the reverse way okay we know that uh, the halogens will be added as per morconic of addition so when we remove h and cl from the starting material we will land up with an alkene so then from there on we can see whether the alkene is giving the desired products so if it is giving the desired products of ozonolysis then we can take them so in this one actually it is not giving the desired products it gives formaldehyde and something else likewise in this case also it is on the side so there is no possibility of this acetaldehyde being formed so for acetaldehyde you need two carbon atoms so here in this case it is not possible and then now coming to our answer so this chlorine is going off and we know uh, obviously it must be this hydrogen that must have left and not this because of morconic of addition so the alkene must have been formed here so when i break this alkene at this particular carbon atom i know i get acetaldehyde and then this side it is acetone similarly you go to the fourth molecule again you remove the chlorine from here you remove the hydrogen from here and then you form an alkene and then you try to break it you know they both of them look similar the products look similar but then you know pretty well by a morconic of addition the negative part of the addendum must have added to the carbon atom that is having the least number of hydrogen atom so this particular chlorine is actually as per anti morconic of addition okay so this product is not the possible product or the product that must have been formed and so going from the starting from the answer sometimes could go wrong should could cause confusion so tracing from the equation and then arriving at the product and matching it will be a safer way to find the answer in this case hope you understood thank you